Hi Scorpio, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your weekly reading for the 16th to the 22nd of September and I hope everything is going well and I hope you're enjoying your weekend but now I am just making the reading for the 16th to the 22nd. If you're new, welcome to this channel and please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. When I go live, I go live once a day, sometimes twice, as I pull a card for each zodiac sign, just for food, uh, for thought for the day, or just to get feel the uh, the energy that or to know the energy that's around you to help you to make a great decision and to stay in your strength. If you don't want to be notified, don't click the bell, but please subscribe and will be saved in your library, and you can find the channel back at your leisure. If you would like a, a specific answer to a specific question of yours, you can join us in the live chat and uh, do a super chat and I'm happy to do you a small, small reading and give you uh, an answer on your specific question. Okay, and if you need an extensive reading, you can always write to Charlie's Angel Tarot at gmail.com and I will get back to you ASAP. Okay, so let's get started. On the 16th, you have the call. That means uh, just judgment. Judgment. You will have judgment. You, Somebody is rising from the death. Um, so a second chance, a new beginning. Usually it's depicted with an angel blowing uh, um, air into the people that are rising from the dead. So they are having a second chance, a new beginning. Okay, so you are having a new start at the beginning of the week. And then we, you have in the middle of the week, the hanged man. That means m m taking time out or um, do a retreat and meditate and evaluate, getting things in a, a different perspective or getting a different perspective. Okay, seeing things from a different perspective, sorry. I'm getting tongue, tongue twisted after about 12 uh, videos and more because I'm also doing the monthlies. And they'll be out shortly as well for October. Okay, um, there might be a delay of four hours, four days, four weeks or four months. Because in a traditional tarot, you can see it much clearer but the legs look like a fool. Oh, that's why there might be a delay because the hanged man also stands for delays in pending. Okay. Um, then at the end of the week, you have the fire alpha male, and this is the king of fire. He knows what he wants and he he is a man of action. He's passionate. So you might be meeting your um passionate partner at the end of the week. It could be a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo. Um, so it is awesome. He's a very strong, passionate man. So if you would like this relationship to last, definitely, definitely show him um, your boundaries or tell him your boundaries. That is why you might um, take time out to think about it. Shall I continue with this or not? Um, just know where you stand in yourself, in your strength, make your decisions with a time out and put your little priority list in order. And then he, if you can catch his heart, he'll be yours forever. Okay. At the weekend, you have the Empress and definitely there might be a new beginning with the King of Fire, the King of Staves. As the Empress stands for fertility, um, birth, uh, growth, blossoming and harvesting. You might find out you're pregnant. Uh, you might hear of a birth. Uh, the, a birth can also be a new beginning, a new a birth, a baby. You might be getting a new baby, a new hobby. Uh, a new job that you're passionate about, that you love, that you nurture, and it is yours, your thing. 
Okay, it doesn't have to be a baby baby, but it can also be your thing that you call my baby. It could be doing a car up. It could be sprucing up your home. Who knows? But the Empress means that something is growing and blossoming and you're going to harvest <coughs> within the short or nearby future. It could be in the weekend. On Monday, we have the bear uh, confirming that uh, the or verifying the uh, uh, judgment card, the call. So um, a new beginning is calling for you and you know how to deal with it because you're certainly very firm on the ground with four paws. The bear is anyway. Sorry about that. And he's sure he can defend what he's passionate about and that he loves. There might be somebody that's jealous of your new beginning, perhaps in the relationship or business partnership. So watch out for jealous, jealous people, but luck is on your side. So don't worry. You might have had a confrontation or a dis dispute with somebody or an argument. It is short lived because the sun is breaking through. So after rain comes sunshine and you are just taking time out until the sunshine comes or you're getting a different perspective so that the sun can come out much faster. You might actually go and visit a fire sign, a fire sign uh, mill um, and or he might be coming to visit you. But you most probably will get news from this man, uh, be it in business or in a relationship or friendship wise. OK, at the weekend, you have the lily luck in business. Uh, you might be seeking advice from an older man. Wow. OK, um, Scorpio, um, the overall luck is in, with you there and there. And remember, um, take your time, don't burn your fingers. And you've got the eight of wands. You might be going on holiday, but you're definitely, and you might be going overseas, but you're definitely getting cyber news. This could be text message, email, or airmail, or telephone. And uh, for the surrender card, you have surrender, uh, the idea you can fix somebody. No, you cannot fix anybody. You can, uh, you're can. you not allowed to force your will on anybody. Nobody's supposed to. But don't burn your fingers. You can't, you know, if you if you haven't capture, captured somebody's heart, you can't force it. You're not allowed to. It will only work against you. It is time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Okay. Like I said, there might have been an argument and it's lying in the line of the king of fire. So you might have had an argument with a fire sign, but it is short lived, but you must give them time to heal and to make up their own mind. You can be nurturing because you you are lying or the Empress is lying next to the fire sign. And I, what did I say? Wait, wait until he's healed. Give him a bit of space. Past life relationships. You have known each other before. OK, so learn from the past. You might have known him before. It could be a past life or uh, when you were younger. So take time, set your goals, get the right perspective, okay, and let him know how you feel. There is a new beginning, don't worry. You're on fertile ground, so if you take time out, do it gently, and you communicate wisely, then it will be fine. Don't force anything. Okay, please uh, remember this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And please give me the thumbs up and I hope you've enjoyed this reading. 
and let me know uh, with the thumbs up and please leave a re uh, reaction if you wish underneath the, um, the video, underneath the subscription box. I hope to see you in the live sessions and take care and have a wonderful week and be blessed and take time to heal.